nine. I need a big one. Round of applause, please. Hey everybody, welcome back to You Should Know Podcast, episode 89. Thank you so much for coming back to the most wonderful place on earth, and that's the You Should Know Podcast. If you're new here, if you don't know, you should subscribe, but is it pressed? You're wrong. If you look even more below that and you see that comment section is fulfilled with your name, guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. I have big news for you. No, I don't. You already know what I'm about to say. There's an energy in the room that is almost tangible. I think that means feelable. LA, we're coming this Thursday for the live show. <laughs> LA, it is the week of the live show. We are so excited to put on a great show for you guys. And we have an after party immediately following the live show. The after parties, if you've ever been, you know it's a good time. It's very interactive. A lot of drinks, a lot of fun, a lot of hugs and kisses. Not a lot of kisses. I'm not. I just said that to hopefully sell it a little more. I promise you, no one's getting kissed. Hello, guys. We are so excited for this live show Thursday in LA. Bring your mom, bring your dad, bring your pappy to the after party. We can't wait to meet all you guys. It's going to be a fantastic show. And guess what? We have two more live shows confirmed. Book city venue we know where we're going and that will be announced very soon be sure to follow me on instagram at psha cam on instagram at cam kennedy 22 and at you should know podcast if you want to know first but if you actually want to know before the first people if you want to know only close friends and family knows you go and join that patreon the link will be in the description below the RSVP and the ticket link for LA After Party is in the description below. We love you so much. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. We got co-host Cam back yeah. in the studio. Cam Way. Cam Way. No, that was I'd say. You didn't get much love. It's all right. I love you, though, and I like your sweatpants and your face and your heart. My sweatpants and my face and my heart like you too. Yeah, can you explain why you sound like a, a lawnmower like a that's trying to, to, to rev up a little All bit? All right, if y'all can't tell, my voice is finally returning somewhat. Uh, I've been sick this past week, but we're here. You already know that. Um, <clears throat> so bear with me if I hit a little <clears throat> during the episode. That means that Peyton's going to talk a lot this episode. And if you hate me, click off. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, you're a good man. But good, okay, so a good lover, good uh, <laughs> excuse partner. Me? You like my neck kisses? No, I don't. I like to. You know, my favorite part about you is when we snuggle. <laughs> okay, you should never be like. Mm -hmm. Your lips became a little butthole. Like you got so happy, you went like this. You said, "You know my favorite." And you like part them? Don't ever do that. <laughs> Liv said my she thinks your just voice. Thinks this voice is sexy, which means my real voice is. <laughs> I've been sick for a week. She thinks you talk like this and like you're normal. Like, hey, babe. Hey, Liv. Thanks. Like, uh, she thinks I'm like this. I'm like, hey, sweetie. Bro, this is annoying, though. Every, everybody that knows, leave in the comments. When you lose your voice. When you lose your voice, it is the most annoying shit ever. Because, like, you're fine, but you sound like a great day. So I'll talk a little bit about this. So. Cam, so we've been sick, right? So uh, we've been moving. The, the the weather in Texas, it went from like 96 degrees to 32 in a matter of like 48 hours. I immediately got sick, but I'm a good sick. I'm not a good sick. This time, but I, but, but I got Cam sick, and so we got sick at the same time. Cam is just soft as shit. I'm soft as shit? Yes, listen to your voice. That's my voice. Oh my That's just my. God damn. It's not making a good case. I get sick once every three years, and you know this. We got so when I get sick, I go down for the count, <laughs> ten, th ten count down. We got sick at the same time. <clears throat> Me made a steal. I was like, I'm over it. Cool, I'm good. You look. <clears throat> my voice is bad. No, you're literally made of steel. Like your insides are like aluminum. You're so. You're, the virus was in your body. It was like. <clears throat> 
Oh, this isn't a good host. We need to get out of here. This isn't a good body. It's going to kill us. So it came to me and it sabotaged me. That's why you got lucky. If I took my sickness and your sickness, your shit was in there like, ah, where's some good organs? Oh, that's rotten flesh. Oh, let's look at this tube. Oh, that's black. Like you're in. Be careful. Oh, God. No, you are disgusting. It didn't. You, imagine being so gross. A virus doesn't want your body. It was like, it was like this body has about two weeks left. It's like they're like, oh, this is this isn't a long term play. Like let's find a better system. Hey, what about this good looking one next? <laughs> oh shit! No, honestly, no. But the thing is, with you, I think big. I think sickness is a big mental game. I think I'm stronger than you. You can. Me. No, you're not. <laughs> Obviously not, bro. You came to the house and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm not good, bro. Cause Again. I was ill. You sounded fine. Ill. Right you sound good now. <clears throat> and it'll come back. Was you just ruined it with the cough? Don't cough anymore. Don't cough on that microphone. Don't cough. <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 please don't, please don't. Clip it, and send it to me. Put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> We're selling cam t-shirts at the live uh, show. <laughs> um, no, so... And uh, we've been around each other. So that's how I think I got used to it. Because we're moving. We both moved. Right? I got a new uh, house. Cam got his new apartment with his lovely wife and his dog, Ruby. Yes. And we helped each other move. Now, I think I'm going... If the podcast doesn't work, right? I think I'm going to start a moving company. Because I am Facts. I am the catalyst of your moving. I'm the reason you have a put-together apartment right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure, the reason we have a put together apartment. Yeah, I carry. You might be the reason I have a dent in my door frame, but you are not the reason that I have four walls up and everything put in the right place. You are far from it. Yeah, I had an English <clears throat> teacher that was 94 and she sounded just like you. Dude, they let a 90 year old teach kids. But I was like, I was like 11 at the time. So anybody over the age of 60 was 90. You know what I mean? Oh, she wasn't actually 90. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have her birth certificate. I was about to say, what the fuck? Like, what are you, why are you still working? You can barely breathe on your own. It's like that RSS check isn't coming in. What's it called? Uh, that's not, that's like IRS? RSS feed. RS, RS, RSV feed. R no. RSVP to the Fountain LA for our live show <laughs> after party. Hey, -o. um, what's it called? The statement checks that they give the old people. No, that's what you pay. S S S N. S S Social, Social Security, Security number. number. No, mine's one four five three four <laughs> six two four one. Yes, it is. Take it. <laughs> You're paid now. I'm keeping that in. I swear to God, that's my. Uh... Anyway. You're not keeping that. <laughs> so what? Social Security. Celebrate good times. Come on. Do you think you you have good Oh Do you think do you think honestly honestly on a scale from one to ten how good of a mover am I? Do you think you're a better mover than me? Because we both helped each other move. Without in. a doubt, one hundred million percent. No, you're you not. You are a sly bastard. Then why'd you call me? Why'd you call me and say, Peyton, we are, needed some arms. You said, Peyton, like, this isn't going to move without you. I said You that. said this ship is going to sink if you don't come this aboard. This ship's already Napoleon. No. I said, hey, asshole, I know you're not doing anything better. Can you come help? That's what I said. No, so. And I said, well, I'll return the favor next weekend. And you didn't. You didn't help me move. More things in your house are put up due to me than you in your own house or is it because i hired movers you were like you were like cam's a millionaire so whenever I'm so far from a millionaire <laughs> so so not even funny. instead of <laughs> so instead of cam calling movers and helping the economy and helping people's jobs he said let me put my family and my friends through hell trials and tribulations yeah and and he had I'm us not doing that again. <laughs> exactly. Not doing again. And and so as soon as I got there, Cam said, "All the heavy stuff, Peyton. I can't do it. I have bad knees." <laughs> no, you're not. Obviously not. I am stronger <laughs> than you. Oh, obviously <laughs> not, because my tonsils are shredded. You have tonsils still? 
Yeah, I never got took it out. Oh my god, what if you have tonsillitis? That's what this is. Don't scare me, dude. Oh my no, that's gonna be hell on earth. If you have tonsillitis, that's when I got my surgery when I almost died. Don't scare me. If he gets tonsillitis, we'll announce it on the podcast and then go to Indeed.com and you'll see a thing that says, You Should Know Podcast. The You Should Know Podcast. You're like the most insignificant mover. All right. All right. Then never ask me to help you get. <clears throat> that's not how that works. I moved everything. Nope. Everything. Who, who mounted your TV? You helped in it. Okay. So TV wouldn't be up. You wouldn't have entertainment. Two, who put together your bed that you sleep on with your wife? Who put together? You helped me do it. So you wouldn't have a bed. So it could go faster. So you wouldn't have a bed. It takes an Allen wrench. Who, who, I did something else. (laughs) No, you you did two things. Okay, what did you do for my apartment? Everything. What? I put your clothes up in your damn closet. I broke down boxes. Oh, you broke down cardboard. I mounted your TV. No, you didn't. I placed your couch. I connected your couch, the piece that connects. Yes. I unboxed boxes for you. I grabbed boxes for you. Okay, so just like I that. Switch TV. Just like that. We can already say Cam opened and closed boxes. And took things out and placed them apart. Okay. So said, what sounds I, heavier? What's I set up I set up your coffee station. I took your your three thousand pound couch up three flights of stairs by myself. You literally did not touch the couch. <laughs> Buy your st- What? That stands You <clears throat> That's the thing about you I edit these podcasts right And I'm, I'm watching through it And I'm doing human experience I have an award from College of Sociology I did I did I was great at the human brain You are good at English too yeah, I was great at English Sorry you weren't Sorry mathematician I could add and subtract percentages I know the circumference of a snow cone Tell me how that's helping you Regular day life Buddy Tell that to take away your virus Google that Hello Good morning <laughs> This is what I've learned. Cam is in love with me. He loves my body. Cam is enamored what? by my structure. Half the word. things that you say to me are about my buddy, my not my buddy, my body, my legs, my back, and my hair. You love it. You love when I dance. Yes, you do. You love when I dance. You said it earlier. I heard you. You said do the thing with your legs. You said you like how I load up when I dance. This is a compelling case. This is compelling so far. But one of the things that I will give you credit <clears throat> for is I got a new TV. I wouldn't have known about this TV, and Cam committed fraud to get me this TV. I don't have a Sam's membership. Oh, yeah. Um, we got it from <laughs> Sam's. We got, it, we got the TV from Sam's, and Cam had his 85-inch TV, and I said, how can I be better than him? And so I got an 86-inch TV. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and I got the same sound system, and... I and your wires are through the wall in my heart. Did you fix that wire situation? No, not yet. We're doing it to, uh, tomorrow. One of the things I love to do in my free time is watch movies. Uh, it's all I do is sit down on the couch alone. No, and you've, you're on a different. You've been you've been watching like straight like White House Down, yeah. Chopper Gunner, Lone Survivor. Like no, yeah, straight, like straight. <laughs> you sound like your name's Margaret right now. <laughs> you've been watching straight up like insurgent movies take down the killer bad guy that's movies. the thing i love watching like war movies yeah. there's something about it and especially if it's based on a true story but i've been having a good two months with war movies but now I, I love watching thriller hostage movies i Ooh. feel like i would be fantastic in a hostage situation Dude. you in a hostage situation i would be fantastic in a hostage situation you would be Arguably the worst hostage ever. No, the no, worst. No, that's the thing about me. I may be a little off, but when it comes to my life, I know how to pounce. And dead, like honestly, you don't believe that I, w- I would be good in a hostage Shit, situation? No, God no. Your voice is so sick. I know you'd be horrible. Okay, put me in a circumstance right now. You put me. In- <laughs> I can put you in any hostage situation right now. Put me in any hostage situation. I promise you, I can get out that's of it. That's all I needed to hear. Okay. Shut up. Okay. This is the phone. I'm calling you. Is ring, my ring. phone on vibrate? Ring, ring. Hey. Ring, ring. Hey, this is Peyton. Damn it. I'd already be like, yeah, kill him. Just off that answer. Straight off the road. You don't like my okay. name? Ring, ring. Ring, ring. That's the worst phone ever. <laughs> Un- unknown number. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. I don't know if I want to answer that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, he didn't pick up. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I forgot. Doesn't love you that much. <laughs> okay, but say you have like a you call on like whoever you have hostages n phone <laughs> so I can know who to pick up. That's not how it works, jackass. Don't answer spam. You gotta answer it. Okay. See, you're the worst. No, this doesn't. I was saying, okay, let's assume you didn't answer. I don't harm your loved ones immediately. Okay, okay. I give you, you give a me a second. Chance. I'm gonna do not disturb. Same number. Same number. D and D. Guys, okay. up late. Here we go. <clears throat> Ring, 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 ring. Oh, wow. Spam again. Ring, ring. I'm ring, answering. Ring. Maybe it's the federal government. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, hello. Hey, this is Peyton. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. You have two hours. To do what? I have your sister. I don't have a sister. I don't have one of those. I have your girlfriend. I don't have one. I've never had one of those. I'm so alone, sir. I think you have the wrong number. I think you have the wrong number. God, dude, you're pissing me off. Right, sister, I had a girlfriend. You're over two, man. All right, uh, do you have a mom? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have your mom. You have so many people. I have your mom. Uh, are your parents still together? Yeah. I have your dad, too. Why? I have your mom and dad. Where? Here. Who's here? Their hands are bound, bags over their head. They oh. have two hours to survive if you don't give me the money. What'd they do? <laughs> Did they deserve it? God damn it, kid. Wait. Did they deserve This is your mom and dad. Do you love them? Can do you I want them to survive? Okay. Can I hear them? No. You're not allowed to. Can I get a picture so I know? I'm not snapping an image and sending. Damn it. Do you love your mom and dad or no? How do I know you're telling the truth? Am I supposed to believe you? I don't have your contact saved. <laughs> okay. Hey. You're really pissing me off, man. I'm not trying I'm not, to. Hey, if you ask one more stupid question, one of them's got to go. Can we FaceTime? You got time? two hours. What'd you just ask me? Can we FaceTime? I don't like... You want to FaceTime an assailant? I don't like sending money. You want to FaceTime an assailant? I'm not quite sure who you are. Can I call my mom? Listen up, Bucko. Okay, sorry. If you say one more word, if you say anything, one of them dies right now. Two hours, send the money, check your email, that's where it's going. You got that? Do you want me to speak? You said if I say That's it. You're the worst. No, you're a bad hostile. I, there's no rules to be the hostile. I have what you want, and I need your money. I think if you're holding somebody for a hostage, I think you have to give clear instructions. You're all over the place. All right, switch it. Say you're just a bound in a hostage. You're in a wooden chair. <laughs> I kind of like this. You got blindfolds? Nobody in their existence. And you're wiggling your foot. You shouldn't be that happy at all. I just, I've been so You alone. literally look like you're waiting in a doctor's office. You're like this. And then you have this action. I just like that I'm wanted. Let's say you're in a wooden chair, right? Yeah. Your hands are bound behind you. And your feet it's are... It's uncomfortable for my shoulders. Your feet are tender soldier syndrome. <laughs> tender soldier syndrome. Your feet are bound at the bottom. Okay. Dark room. I get tired. I'm on a lunch break. I leave. Wait. What do you do? Are you working? Why are you have lunch breaks? Is I'm this watching, your job? I'm keeping guard. Uh, <clears throat> okay. I'm watching over you, keeping guard. Are we talking? Dude, see, <laughs> you would piss them off so much. You'd be so damn annoying, they'd just kill you. They would literally not listen to their boss and just kill you. They have a boss. There's like a pay structure? Are they, on pay? Are they like, are they an escort? You're pissing me off. You're, you're starting to annoy me. You asked me to put you in a scenario. I'm trying my best. <laughs> You're bound. Sir, my panties are inside of my ass crack right now. Can I pull them out? If you happen to smell French baguettes. Honestly. Okay, honestly, how much do you think my life is worth in a hostage situation? Uh, 80 grand. This is so fucked up. Then what does that make yours? <laughs> Oh shit! I'm kidding. Um, it. I mean, there's never. That wasn't a serious question. Oh, well, I was about to say there's never a true price tag. It's just really what they want. Oh no, yeah. Like they they find someone that's important or of high stature. Oh, that would make me feel good then. And then they take a loved one, so it wouldn't be you. They would make. They would no, think I'm important. No, it wouldn't be you. They would think. 
That's not how hostage stuff works. I've seen the movies. Like, if I want your money, I don't take you. But I there, take but, your mom. But I'm important. Not if you're the hostage. Nine times out of ten. Like, if I want Obama's money... You take know, Michelle. I, I say this. <laughs> no, no. My FBI <laughs> agent's like, wait, watch it. We got to send the chopper. <laughs> if I want uh, uh, Mark Cuban's money, I, don't, I like him too. Damn it. If I want... Uh, um, I like LeBron. Uh, why is this so hard to think? If I want Morgan... I like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, sure. Like, it doesn't matter. Well, of course you take Morgan. All the oh, other okay. ones were cool, but Morgan, if I, if you'll I settle want, on him. I, Be careful. If I want Brad Pitt's money. Okay. I take Brad Pitt's daughter. You don't take Brad Pitt. It's a little girl. You shouldn't take her. Bro, do you get my point? Do you get the point I'm making? No, I think you wouldn't be important if you're the hostage. Nine times out of ten. I don't like how you're saying people aren't important. I think everybody has a very important role on this earth. All right, Gandhi, I'm trying to go with this scenario. Careful what are you saying? Because my rib structure? No. I'm st- Didn't Gandhi light himself on fire? Gandhi wore flip-flops, I think. <laughs> I think that's all I remember. Were they Gucci? No. Is this offensive? Might be little, okay, I'm I sorry. I didn't mean to. Me neither. But it's not a comfortable shoe to get around in. I know you was bald and wore like a tape, like a tap. I shoe. used to love wearing flip flops. The flip flops that go like between here. There's so much like dust that just. <laughs> it's like a LeBron. It's a fucking smoke screen. I love wearing flip flops. Your feet that go are disgusting. Oh my. Your toenails. <laughs> we can't do this every episode. No, I'm saying like. Oh no! I no no no. No, the top of your big toe looks like a poppy seed bun. <laughs> Don't touch it. Oh, I won't. Um. Oh, it's smooth. Feel it. Dog, oh, don't do that weird <laughs> thing. Oh my God. No, I've been. I haven't worn socks. Feet piss me off. You know what's sick about me? I've been good with doing socks, right? I used to have a thing. <laughs> I had a thing in high school where, like, my whole junior and senior year, I never wore socks. I just wanted to be more with the earth. I realized that was gross. But, so I've been wearing socks every day since. I don't know what it is the past couple of days when I helped you move in and then I was moving myself in. I did not wear socks. Yeah, it's weird shit, especially when you know you're going to be sweaty. Yeah, I, I, I didn't smell too bad in our, in our uh, move in. Bad play, bad move. Put a, please put that back on. The you should know podcast. This episode is brought to you by Liquid IV. The holiday season is always a hectic time. You're running around, family's coming, you're going Christmas shopping, Hanukkah shopping, holiday shopping. You're running around, you're busy, you need to stay hydrated this holiday season. No matter where or how you're hydrating this season, Liquid IV is a hydration brand fueling your well-being and their hydration multiplier can keep you going through the end of the year and beyond liquid iv hydrates two times faster than water alone all in a single stick i want to let you guys know liquid iv is not just for athletic training or if you're running around being athletic this is for everyday hydration just for example i use liquid iv every morning just to get myself hydrated ready to go even if i'm relaxing that day or if i'm running around and gotta do errands liquid iv gets me right in the hydration department if you know what i mean also liquid iv has a lot of sugar-free flavors with white peach green grape and my favorite limon lime it's great it's refreshing and it's hydrating. So grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use our code YSK at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop better hydration today using promo code YSK at liquidiv.com. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Bro, you think I'm the worst at everything. You're not everything, but 8 out of 10. Bro, I, I think I am the <clears throat> epitome of like what no, a human no, should be. No, you not. No. <laughs> don't Rewind. start that. Cam, Rewind. I don't Rewind. want to keep doing this with you. Rewind. You did not just say epitome. Epitome. That's the thing. That's that's high diction. That's high level diction. Okay. That's I don't, college. I don't care if you think, first off, you didn't finish it, but I don't care if you think you were good at English. I was, I have a, a certificate. From who? Commun- Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Community college. <laughs> Community college. It's, good job. Still college. Good yeah. Job. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I have three from that. Anyway. Um, yeah. Cause three ooh, my, my name's Cam. I couldn't get out. So I stayed for six <laughs> years. 
I got three degrees in five years. If you want to freaking spin on these hands. Oh. Where did that go? Everywhere. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Anyway, I don't give a damn how it's spelled or what you think being a wizard at it, Epitome. Being a wizard <laughs> okay. at English means epitome. Yes, that's 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 the slang yeah. version. Ep epitome. You're saying that epitome is not a word. Not a word. Epitome. <clears throat> then why can I say it? I can say gabagoo. That's not a word. That's a great point. <laughs> yeah, you stupid <laughs> bastard. <laughs> gabagoo. So no one's ever said. Oh <laughs> you be careful. No. You've never you've never been in a room with high level people, probably not. I can tell by how you operate in life. Because I'm an idiot. Yep. Okay. Big brain, not a lot of it's so much space. It's like an attic with nothing, no Christmas lights up there. You're like a just a dusty old <laughs> ritual set. You're like attic. whenever your brain is like when you go to tour an apartment and it's unfurnished. It's That's what your brain is. It's just the floor plan. You you get to see the floor plan. I have floor plan brain. You have a <laughs> You have the floor plan of a penthouse suite. No furniture. I got one chair and it's like rocking. It's like, you sit it's on it and it breaks. It's like it sounds like this. The wood's broken. Uh, hey, back to it. Epitome isn't a word, jackass. Epitome is, it is a word. <laughs> Throat boy. <laughs> See what happens whenever you talk a lot and nonsense comes out? God starts to take away the vocal cords. Epitome is a word. Epitome. Honestly? You are an epitome of a dumbass. You are. It is epitome. And I hate you. You know what? I'm so tired of hearing oh your voice. God. I'm tired <laughs> of speaking it. We're going to bring your wife on. The You Should Know Podcast. Santa baby, the reason for a fresh cut is finally here with our sponsor of today's show, Manscaped. The leaders in Below the Ways Grooming have just launched their fifth generation performance package to help you avoid another silent night in the bedroom this year. Oh, I can attest to that. Hello. Take care of your special snowflake with the lawnmower 5.0 Ultra and watch your South Pole shine like never before. Get the best stocking stuffer of all by going to manscaped.com and using code PSH for 20% off plus free shipping. <laughs> Mrs. Claus will thank you. Manscaped is a one-stop shop for all your holiday needs. They have the perfect gift in the performance package 5.0 Ultra, which includes loads of perfect stocking stuffers. Let me tell you about a couple of them. If you have nose hair, save the day with the Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear hair trimmer. Also, if you need some new undies, it got the boxers 2.0s and guess what? I bet your nails have seen better days. Manscaped has that covered with their new Shears 3.0 nail grooming kit. I like my nails on fleek and Manscaped helps me with that. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code PSH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code PSH. H. Say ho ho to a well groomed mistletoe with Manscaped. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. We got Mama Liv back on. Mama Liv. Where my Mama Liv fans at? We got Mama Liv on the podcast because Cam sounds like you ever been around a horse that has a fever? Yeah. <laughs> a horse that has a fever. Like, there he uh, is. Uh, what was that noise? R A. Y'all can't do that. All the audio listeners uh, are in their car. Uh, all the audio listeners in their car, they're like, what, what the, the fuck? <laughs> they're Turn like, that down. Um, sorry. Because, Cam, honestly, what animal would you describe Cam to look like? Just what he looks like right now? Ruby. I see it. <laughs> Why'd you okay, look he at looks me like, like Ruby. That? He looks like Ruby. He looks like Ruby. It's okay, babe. You do look like my mom said that recently. But I, uh, the secondary thing, I would say a horse, like a small stallion. I know, like, don't you ever say he's a small stallion. <laughs> oh. oh, shit, we're all dying. Good morning. All right, so <clears throat> we brought beautiful, amazing Mama Liv on because 
I'm coming for your job, Cam. I'm coming for your job. Yeah. This is her tryout to see if she's going to take the co-host. What do y'all think at the end of this episode? Let me know. And the CTA. <laughs> and what the <laughs> to direct the camera to open palm to make it inviting. Is Cam a worse sick than me? No, Cameron's very dramatic. He's so dramatic. So like you dramatic. are sick. I hate that no, shit. he no. is sick. He is he's sick. sick. I have to give it to him. He is sick, but he waits till like the he's on his deathbed to like I need to go to the doctor. I need medicine. Because I try like, to let my body do its natural remedies. Be proactive. He's like, yeah, medicine. it is what it is. I'm like, take some damn medicine. Chill out. I take medicine. Quit I take playing over, cod. I'm an over the counter goblin. Oh, but over the counter can get the job done. Exactly. But this time it's just. I think you just need to get honey. Swallow a spoonful of honey and drink some tea and you'll be good, bro. Yeah, we're, we're doing that on the way home. He's obsessed with honey. But that's yes. when you're sick. Yes. Yeah, you got to go. All right, Winnie the Pooh, put down the honey and relax. I gave Cam... Like you didn't get amoxicillin. Amoxicillin is not real it's enough. It's the criminal cop killing him pop. pop. Is it a villain or my... Is it the miracle or oh, yeah. just the product of pop fizzing up? Y'all are going to get copyrighted. We're going to get copyrighted. Now, if I did that... <laughs> if you did it, it'd be like this. Wait, Cam, that tell me. When we were moving in, tell them how I farted in the living room. He did a fart like this. <laughs> oh, when, God, when I, no. When I fake pull my pants down, imagine he actually pulled this down, but the frontal was not exposed, but bare ass was. <laughs> pants pulled down? <laughs> Pants full down, both hands up, squat and a Crazy. fart. We're probably not weird because I'm not this, but y'all are probably the most grimiest podcast there is. Like grime, like grimy. Like, <laughs> Honestly, grime, grime. oh, this is what I've learned about Cam. Oh, he God. is nasty as me, but he does a better job pretending. Oh no, he's nasty. Have he's you seen his ears today? <laughs> Them bitches is dirty. And but I'm sick. No, here, and here. oh, oh, okay. I'm so not about to excavate my ear, my ear. <laughs> Pull it out and show Cam. Ah! Show Cam. Oh, oh my God, it's on your shoulder. Cam, you're a nasty goblin. Okay, honestly, this is the thing about Cam too. He picks his nose all the time. I know. No, I don't. Yes, it's, you do. Yep. It's literally been the last like two weeks. Yes. Cause, because it's a. Get a damn tissue. My left side, I had a pimple. You yeah. always blame it on the pimple, dog. You're digging for gold. It's not a pimple. No, it's not. It's. I'm no, digging. it's not. No, it is not. No, it is. I honestly shut shit. up. You don't want to hear your up, voice. Screw you, screw you, shut up, shut up, screw you. <laughs> what? I'm digging to stay alive. Cam, you do it all the time. It's literally only been like the last two weeks. It's because it's, it's finally getting cold. This side has been crusted, and I have one of those scab things that bleed. Stop, bro. People You saw the bloody napkin. No, that was you. You yeah, saw the bloody you know napkin. You know I don't like that. Dude, we were eating lunch, and he was just sitting there Dude, so holding cold. up his bloody-ass napkin. I'm like, can you it's put that I, away? I, have one of the, I don't even know what it is. I don't know if it's like a scab or something, but it's like- No one it, cares. It constantly annoys you, but you have- I you don't get it, those. I get them, bro. They suck. And I, I, I bet if you go to the passenger side of my car, it's bug fest on that right. No, side. I don't do that. But no, Cam's nasty as hell. Yeah, he's disgusting. No, I'm not. You're gross, man. Your blood, your knee, your no. <laughs> your blood, your knee. What? what the what the? Your nose doesn't bleed, so you have it better off than me. Yeah. Oh, Doctor Seuss in the rhyme book. <laughs> all right, go, Cam. Cam. All right. All right. What I was trying to say is because my voice is shit. I know y'all don't like hearing it. It's annoying y'all. It's annoying me. They both think it's hot, but for whatever reason, it's pissing me off. So I'm just going to ask them questions and let them answer uh, some of these crazy I questions. I tried to give Cam a logic in the car. He didn't like it. Nope. <laughs> it's too it's spicy. Damn, he's, this guy's Winnie the Pooh. Everything he has honey-flavored cost syrup. Natural honey. Processed I honey. Do, I, am, I am like Winnie the Pooh. What the <laughs> f*** what are you what about are you to doing? do? What the fuck was that? I am like Winnie the Pooh because I love going around the house in a big hoodie like this. I like going like that. Just walking around the house. You cannot do that on the internet. Now, if I did that, like, took my shit off, I would be canceled. When I did that, it was like I unfolded laundry out of my crack. Cam, we were saying you're going to ask us some questions? You sit a weird way. This is why I don't have, come on this podcast. have that many we internal wedgies. You sit. No, it's because I don't know how to dry my clothes yet. Why is there, like, a dust cloud around me? Like, I keep seeing shit. <laughs> you just tooted. I did. You just tooted. Cam's toots smell like tar and, oh like, God. blueberries. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <coughs> All right, first question. What song right now would you describe as your theme music? Animal I've Become. Sad, lo lonely, no friends. Sad song, alone, lonely, no friends, depressed. <laughs> so 
Is that a tune? Yeah. Sad and long. What chart is that me, on? No friends. Spotify. Top 90. Top 90? <laughs> That's yeah. not a thing. It's about Lil Durk. Live. Ooh. So Little Durk. Yeah. Made a song. That's Sad, lonely, alone, no friends, depressed. That is a. Fu that's are a you paragraph. saying? Are you writing poetry? Are you that's okay? Like, that's like slam po open word. Like a haiku. I'm not gonna lie, Cam. I blame you for that. Because yeah. last know. episode you yes, did expose her, and I was getting hateful DMs talking about, oh, yeah. that's what you get for being if lonely. You eat your boogers. I wouldn't be your friend because you eat your boogers. Lonely, lonely, lonely. <laughs> If you're not gonna DM my wife something nice, don't DM her at all. Yeah, we stay ten toes down for Mama Liv. You say something about me, I'll yell. Fact. That's about as much as I can do. It's is, okay. Is I can I can handle my. Cam, own. do you want a she lodging? Can, she can. <laughs> what flavors? I honestly honey? will take one. When you need it more than you. <laughs> you were about to give it to Cam. Yeah, but Cam's worse. It's like a hierarchy. Uh, you no, do need that. Though. But my my song is "Animal I Become" because I got dry skin syndrome. You know what I mean? Don't <laughs> wink at me. Quit that! Quit him? winking at me and shit. He's been winking at me this whole episode, he, and he'll do it. He will do it when you're not paying attention. Them weak ass punches. No, I I'm no. Sorry. There is like a like a rumor. I saw. Did y'all see those comments? Yes. The people were saying I'm flirting with Liv. I, I, I like Liv. No, I, no, I don't. What's crazy though? He'll do it. Why behind the camera too? Why y'all record? No, it's not a live thing though. It's just <laughs> like watch it, buddy. <laughs> it's not a no. It's not a lifting. It's just whenever. He's looking now. Uh, it's not a lifting. It's whenever I'm trying to get somebody on my side. Yeah. Hide them with the. You know what I mean? Don't do it to her though. Okay. She's off limits. No, but my song is "Animal I Become" <coughs> because. Such like, a strange on, creation. On my body. On my body. Right. Don't, right here. Don't do that. On my body, down. I get like. I get, he just I winked again. again. While his shirt was up. Stop winking. I'm obviously not flirting with. Uh, that's a crazy flirt. If I'm doing this and scales are falling off my side. Scales? <laughs> no, you. I no. So listen, right? So whenever I, so whenever I shower, right? This part you look of like me. Like Jesus. Thank you. Whenever this part of me, <laughs> it gets dry sockets. Like right, it gets real dry. Okay. And I can go like this. Peyton, I can see your ribs. You need to eat more, my friend. That's not good. I don't think I've ever seen my ribs before. <laughs> I look like one of those arms of the angel dogs. It's like 25 cents you can help pay. <laughs> Bro, you're going to hell. <laughs> you're going to hell. In the arms. <laughs> Is that wrong to say? Oh, I can't. so funny. No, okay, so I got a new shower, right? In my new house. I can't, I cannot take him seriously. I'm, I'm demonstrating something. Listen, so I, in, my new in my new house, my water gets hot. In my old apartment, it got real cold real fast. I had about two and a half minutes of hot water in my shower. Trenches. But this one, I was showering for like 45 minutes, hot the whole time. But then I got out, and this whole side is scaly, and this is already a sensitive area for me. And if I go like this enough, I can get a small collection. Like Cameron's dandruff in his hair. Dude, can you do have dandruff. It's on, no, his, it's on the sh his shoulder pads of his shirt. You do have bad dandruff. Because he used that damn Pantene. No, it's because I'm sick. What is what? sick have to do with dandruff in your hair? It's because when you're sick, you don't take the best quality care of yourself. Yeah, he you didn't brush his teeth today. Yes, I did. I go weeks without brushing my oh, teeth. Oh, that's true. That's we did agree on that. that. Yeah. It's George Washington Carver. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, there's turds in his pants. There is turds in that man's pants. Oh, Peyton. Don't, sh don't stick your arm down there. Why is your hand... I cut it if up. If your finger would have came out brown, dog. Oh my god. This oh is gross. My god. This is gross. No, hell no. no. Next question. <laughs> no, no. There's something I was gonna say. <coughs> Cam Cam had lice. Bro, I've never had lice. Yes, you did. Whenever Cam so Cam, whenever Cam I've whenever had lice went before. To, whenever what? I've had lice before. She's had I lice before. I don't think that's possible, Liv. No, oh, well it's not with us color people. But I stay the night at a oh, friend's house. She was on the other side of the spectrum, not spectrum. She was on the Hello. other side of, she was white. It's okay. Yeah, she was a Caucasian yeah. woman. There's nothing wrong um, with that. We love We those. put a lot of product in her hair, but um, I used her brush. Stayed the night at her house. Uh, went home the next day. My mom was like, you have lice. She couldn't get it out with the little treatments. She chopped that shit off. Uh, wait, I had what? A I had a Halle Berry haircut. Well, you had a bald fade? Yeah, like a straight two. They was like, Nyong. Uh, late, wait, you went to school with a Dewey on? <laughs> Imagine living with a wave cap. No! Uh, it wait. was like cute curls. It was low-key cute. Oh, my God. 
She had a girl. She had like, like a, a mixed, fade. She had like a mixed mom haircut. Like no, a it was shorter than a mix. Like it was shorter than a mixed seven. mom. Like straight up, like it was just imagine just curls, kind of like yours, Peyton. Literally like your hair. No, it was detangled. <laughs> My mom would not let me leave the house like that. <laughs> but yeah, lice. Tried to spit and hit yourself in the ball. And I couldn't go to school for like a week. Oh my god. Speaking of that, when I had you remember I'm about to expose myself. This oh is like god. one of the cringiest things I wanted. And I wanted a lot. And so whenever I was I had long hair. You remember I had long hair, right? Yes. I would pull it back in a ponytail. I always wanted and thank God my mom didn't let me do it. Shout out to you, Nita. Um I wanted to pull my hair back in a ponytail and and shave all around and just leave the top. You so would like, look like a murderer. You would look like an absolute Viking. So, but the thing was, so when it was like a tribal warrior. So when it was down, you couldn't tell because it would cover ah. it. But then when I put it up, surprise, party's here. I had a friend that actually shaved half of her head. Yep, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was like a right trend. here? No, no. <laughs> like, was like it was called like, the trend was called a shave side. She was like, like this, and then be like, sign. <laughs> yep, <laughs> literally, it was a thing. And oh, yeah, just right here, just right here on the side. Wait, do I know her? Yeah, you know her. They say the name like this. Oh, she was a good friend. Yeah, good friend. Yeah. yeah. Wait, she shaved her head? Yes, and she would put, like, her little initials in her head. Wait, she dyed it, too? Because I remember that was, like, a vibe in 2013. I don't know if she dyed it, but she, she definitely... Head. How do you know? Yeah, you weren't. The pictures. You, so, wait, what happens at the Kennedy house? So, just showing pictures of, like, it was people... In phone. Like, that that was not my phone. phone. We have not been friends for 10-plus years. Not in, <laughs> Not in your... Not, 10 like, plus years that's a long time no not no, in your no. camera roll it was on your phone like on facebook or something kim what are you saying bro? Uh, i'm hurting ask the next question ask please. the next question next. what's the most embarrassing thing your parents have ever done oh, shit god uh, the first thing that pops to my mind is thinking about my dad shitting my <laughs> dad's dad public pops. shits because he like, like has, what, do you, what do you mean public shits because he has no like cooth you know what I mean? Like, you know, some people are like, Good word. I I, I got a shit, but like, it's a bad one. So I, I can't do it out here. My dad's that type of duties. Like, I'm about to go to this bathroom right here inside of this pack sun and everybody's going to smell it. That's you fucking know, gross. My dad will shit in a mall and everybody within three stores smells it. And he'd be like, that's my work in there. Like, <gasps> that's him. He says that when he walks out. He, he doesn't it. care. And he crop Savage. dust like crazy. He'd be like, I killed the bread aisle. You know what I mean? Like My he, mom crop dust. She's a crop duster. She does that shit at Marshall's. And you know them tiny ass things at Marshall's or TJ Maxx. Like, if you're scooting down the aisle, yeah. like, you know who farted on the aisle. And she's I, like, oh, sorry. I'm like, oh. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't imagine, like, can you imagine, like, a supermodel, like, pooping? They poop. I really can't imagine it. I can't. Like in a stinker, too. Do they have someone that wipes their ass for them, too? No. No, I'm saying like at home, they're like, nah. You know, like one of those, you got to bend and like push on your gut like that. Yes. I never, I never I'm nervous to my share gut. my embarrassing moment never. because I don't know if it's allowed on this podcast. With your mom? Yes. Because she does a lot of embarrassing things. It but would, this, this specifically has to do with the person sitting next to me. And it's just, it's just very <laughs> embarrassing. It was like one of our very first dates. Wait, what? Yeah. If, you, if you can't say it, we'll cut it out, but say it. I okay. want to hear it. So we went to Chili's after oh, church on a Sunday, and we were just sitting at the table. I don't even know how this conversation came about, but my mom is very blunt, doesn't have a filter. Love you, Mom. But she just flat out said, Cameron, I bet you love Olivia's big old brown boobies. Bro, at Chili's? Like, who on says a that? After church? Who says that? After church? Arnita would never, Lisa would never, never, would mm. never, but oh, Lolly. Wait, she what is, wait, have you met her before this? Uh, yes, but this was like the first, like, my like whole, sit down. Like my family down. was there, like Mimi, Aunt Carrie, Morgan. And she said that to announce the table? What, first, did you, yeah. what did you say? I was God. putting the predicament. I was like, if I say no, I'm disrespecting the girl. But if I say yes, because I, I do you like, you like them. them yeah. I do, I like do enjoy them. them. If I say yes. Am I disrespecting the family by answering? So what'd you I, say? I didn't give any verbal. I just went. I just gave and like fresh. Like, like we were still like young. Like we're not like we weren't adults. Like we were still like college. Like we were probably still at Seminole at the time. So super embarrassing. But whatever, mom. No, Shout out you, Lolly. Well, Lolly's amazing. She's the best. But she does embarrass me half the time when we're out in public. But now that I'm, is what it is. Now that I'm thinking about it, one of the, I mean, it's not embarrassing that my parents have done it. Hey, shut up, voice. It's embarrassing that I didn't. It just reminded me. I'm 
very embarrassed that I'm about to say this, but as a kid, and I still am, I was very protective of my mom. Yeah, as you should be. And so yeah. I remember as a kid, we lived around a bunch of construction workers. I don't know why. There was just construction workers always in the vicinity. And they're always at gas stations. And so we'd go to, the, exactly. We went to a gas Careful. station. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Oh. They just, on their brakes. That's where they, they go, go to get lunch. their brakes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But we had like the same like schedule as them. So anytime we went to a gas station, they there would be there. a load of construction workers in God, there. Because the there's a lot of people <laughs> in the gas station. <laughs> I thought you were saying because the construction workers in there. No, somewhere. I'm saying when, when there's a lot of people, there's typically only one person working the cash register. And okay. You're, you're trying to go put 20 on gas, there's 10 people. I'm just making sure you clarify for the yes, people. Yeah. Okay, so there was a, there, we would always be on the same schedule. And I remember... The construction workers would always check my mom out and like look at her ass oh, God. in front of me. And for some reason, I felt as my 10 year old self or eight years old to defend it, I could protect her. And so I remember this one dude was vi like, wasn't even trying to hide it. He was like, like looking at it and I got mad. And so he walked <laughs> away, not like that. So he walked away <laughs> and this is so cringy. I remember. I, he turned away. I followed him. Oh God. I put my eyes ass level to him. So I was bent down looking at his ass and I was going. Do that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> followed him through the store. You were following a grown man. Going you think he was scared of you, Peyton? Ass level. Scared? I would have kicked, kicked his little long haired Troy Polamalu tail wearing ass out the grocery store. <laughs> oh, <laughs> get the no, I don't know what it was. Did right. you ever share that with your dad? Nah, he'd have been like, "What you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was embarrassing, sure, bro. Next question. Yeah, I'm you're a sicko. Yes. You got ass level to a grown man. Which Sorry. fast food chain has the worst French fries? Oh. My answer is, I think it's an obvious one. In and out. In and out. In and oh, that is definitely UPS boxes <laughs> shredded like up. That like that shit is gross. That shit is like cardboard. Disgusting. The burgers are fire. The burgers are fired in and out. And they don't make combos. And the shakes. Yes, they do. They make combos. Yeah, they do. You get them. You get them fry in the thing. Yeah, they, they, do. they don't make it a la carte. They're what? What did you say? A la carte. That's whenever it's separated. Like you have to buy the burger separately than the fries and the drink. How do you spell that? I say I, a la carte. How do you say it? A la carte. How do you say it? A oh, shit. A la carte. A la carte. What? A la carte. So I'm the wrong one. I say a la carte. Like all. A la carte. No. Like Are y'all dumb? Like you get all the carte. How do you say? Okay, that's not the reason. No, because it's a la carte. ALA. What does ALA stand for? It's not an acronym. <laughs> all lot of food. <laughs> it's a la carte because ALL. -L, how do you say? What does ALL -L spell? All. All. A la carte. It's ALA. I think. A la, a a la carte. A la. You're just changing, but you're just changing. The A at the beginning is what? Al. Because if it was two L's, it would make it an A. Ah. Uh, Al la carte. Al la carte. Ah. Uh. Okay. Man, okay, say all. Siri, what say you all. think? All. So how are you beginning that? Oh. Uh. A-L-L. Oh, uh, no, no. Oh. Uh. Are you dumb or stupid, dumbass? All la carte. It's not because of that. You're cha you're just simply changing the way you're you saying it. You are saying. Yeah. Because you're, you're that's how Al. English language works. The following letters determine the first letter. No. I've taught first grade, and you know that. You don't know your letter sounds. Okay. How do you how do you say A L L? How do you say it? Yeah, A L L. What's that? Like all. Because there's a double L. The double L makes the A say ah. Okay. Oh damn, he's right there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Guess who teaches first grade? Guess it's me because appetizer. Well, I don't right? teach that shit no more. Obviously. <laughs> no, it's a la carte. Whatever. A, a la carte. All la carte. All the damn food. All that yeah, shit. The fact you thought it was an acronym, she said, "What does it stand for?" All the food, <laughs> bro. Is it really a la carte? It's a la carte. A la carte. It's like the same thing as epitome. What the fuck is epitome? <laughs> okay, you epitome and epitome. 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 You're the ep epitome cinnamon. An epitome. An epitome. epitome is like you're just a nothing. Oh, what was that? What? You're, you're in a nothing. No. You're an epitome. You're a nothing. Epitome is like an example, like the top, the peak of something. When people say you're an epitome. Like, you're a nothing. No one says you're an epitome. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I've been called that. You're an epitome. No, you're the no. epitome of something. That's how the word works. Use it in a sentence for me. I'm the epitome of a good guy. But you don't say you're epitome. You're nothing of a good guy. You're the epitome of a good guy. You're like the peak, the example. Like, you're the, the hierarchy of Okay, something. you're an epitome. You're an epitome. No, you're not. A, you can't be an epitome, Liv. 
whatever i'm not good at english not good at math just school yeah drop out don't do that i agree don't do that <laughs> what why are your socks or why are your shoes off i, I get more socks. comfortable something just flew off of your freaking Shit, sock dude. Every time you move, there's dust, debris, particles. Yeah, it's like I'm in a constant like smoke cloud of dust. That's freaking disgusting. And y'all's carpet is dirty as hell. Y'all probably my, got roaches up in here. Look at my side compared to his side. Why are you digging in your pants? What are you doing? I'll give you $7,000 right now if you smell my fingers. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Something just got caught in my finger now. That's freaking gross. Oh, <gasps> my God. That's a question. <laughs> Lips like, please. Come no, on, Cam. No. Hell, get that away from me. 15 if you like it. No. Cameron, we need the money. <laughs> Next question. You just get us off that quick. We need the money? We need the money. No, shut up. No. Cam's a millionaire. Money, Birkin bag. Which smells worse? Earring backs or belly button <laughs> legs? Jesus Y'all reach out. Belly button hair. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just hear what I just heard? Did you just add, what don't, did don't you just me. ask me? Never eat your belly button hair. Do you ever Live. eat your belly button hair? Belly button hair. Do you ever eat it? Like, take a little nibble of Liv, it. You're not asking me that. Yes, I am. No one does. Liv, I am who, asking you that. Who asked that? Me. Did you hear the question? He said, do you like belly buttons or ears? That's nowhere near the question. And so I said, do you ever eat your belly button hair? You have belly button hair? Yes. It's My cute. husband won't pay for laser hair removal. It's cute. Wait, like Liv, it. no one asked that. No one does that. No one's eating shit. How does that happen? You'd have to get I a straight it. razor, put it on a plate, fork and knife. I don't it. do it either. I was just making sure y'all didn't. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I'm just making sure y'all don't use belly button hair. We're all on the same page. Great. Move on. Next question. Why did that just pop up in your brain? <laughs> because hey, hey, it just. Hey, do y'all shoot your? Do you hit yourself with the hammers at night? Oh, no, I don't either. I was just making sure. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, just making sure. It's like, y'all don't talk to what yourself. <laughs> yeah, what possessed you to ask that? Because I wanted to say it. I was just making sure y'all don't eat your belly button hair. Okay, what was your because question? Because I don't. I'm glad we're on the same page. What do you, was your question? What? Something's wrong. What was your question? The question was, what smells worse, earring backs or belly button lint? I don't get belly. I, my belly button doesn't smell bad because I have an Audi. You do not have an Audi. Yes, no, I do. you don't. Yes, I've I do. seen your belly button. Yes, I, do. I have seen your belly button. Yes, That's that literally. is an any. That's literally. You got hella belly button hair. I don't need it. That's literally an any. It must have shrunk <laughs> in or something because it was Audi last time I looked it at it. It did not. Belly buttons don't shrink. You were born with an Audi or an any. <laughs> no, that thing was out last time I seen it. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yes, it was. What happened? Maybe you just lost some weight and you thought it was your belly button. There's not much weight to lose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had one. I, I swear to God. What oh, shit. Honestly, though, if you have an Audi, if you have an Audi, those are pretty cute. I used to have a thing for, okay. That's pretty, they're pretty cute. Belly I buttons. swear to God, I had, a, I had an Audi at one point. No, you've never had oh, an Audi. I guess I think it is. Al I remember going like, Audis I would strum that, like John. I would strum it like this, like a small guitar key. <laughs> You probably, I'm telling you, it's probably just some fat and it just. No, Liv, I'm telling you. I, it, there, there's so many things wrong. I could storage, I could there's storage so, small dimes in here, but now. I bet that shit smell like so, ass. There's so many things wrong with both of what y'all are saying. Huh? No, you don't just have a, a little cyst of fat, right? <laughs> and it just disappears. Yeah, you do. And people you've have never had an I did. I think it's the angles in the lighting because I swear they People have angles, extra, lighting, people have extra skin on their lighting. belly buttons all the time. What? People are born with extra skin on their belly buttons all the time. When the when'd you go it's to like, belly button school? It's like it's like a tag, like a little tag. Oh, there like was a, a girl tag. in fifth grade. We our our, our, our summer our summer uh, trip. We went to a community pool across the street, and I had a crush on her all year. And then I remember she was in her her, her swimsuit, and she had an Audi, and it was like protruding. Like it was like a, it was like a small nub out there, and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Did I you tell her? It. No, I was scared. You were just like this. Y'all could have had cute little Audi belly button babies. I swear to he God, I have had it. one. Because I remember there's a point because my brother would always pick out belly button lint out as his and I was like, I want that. And then I was like, I can't because my there was blockades. There was this there was a dam right there. It was blocking That's the water. That's disgusting. But now Bro, you really said it must have shrunk. How does that work? It's like a little knot in there. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't like it. Do they tie it like a kind of it's kinda How are those made? If you stare at your belly button, it's kinda uncomfortable. I don't like it. There's like Wait, there's how? like little X's on it, like It looks like a starfish. Yeah. 
And, the, and they smell horrid. They smell disgusting. Wait, Cam, smell my belly button. I'm not. Please smell my belly button. Do it. It might clear up your. It might clear up your sinuses. I'm not smelling your belly button. I'm not your belly button. I don't even smell my husband's belly button. I've smelled your belly button. No, you you have a cute belly button. Let's see. Cause the bottom yeah. of your, cause right uh, when you sit down right under it, it looks like a peach snap. A what? A peach snap. A what? A snapple bottle? What are you talking about? I have scars on mine cause I had a belly button ring or belly button piercing. Yeah, he says. I, I sometimes when Cam sits down shirtless, I want to I want to grab his belly like a th like a three year old to go. I do that at home. So you have smelled it. You do not I don't smell that. But Cam's body what hair makes me, <coughs> makes me uncomfortable. He does have weird... Be be bo oh, my God. Whoop! He does have weird body hair. Because, like, his hair on his head's like like a like a tan and a, a red and an orange. But his chest hair is, like, black. No, but... Okay. And I noticed about Cam the other day, too. So Cam used to only have areola <laughs> hair, right? Yeah. <laughs> I little it looked like little eyeballs on a furry creature. Yeah. It looked like the little uh, lashes people would put on slug bugs. <laughs> oh! But then Cam FaceTimed me the other day, and he showed me his body because that makes me happy and feel good on the inside. Quit winking at me. I'm about to I, throw my shoe at you. You winked at her? And How it all connected. It's he like did a, a double piece wink. Now. Bro, it's a I mean, just a <laughs> if I can, my eyes will go dry. <laughs> All right, enough of those. Enough of those questions. I've heard some unbelievable <laughs> answers already. So, but honestly, now that I have y'all here okay. together, and I can just sit back on the outside. All right, sick voice. I got two more questions Mute. for y'all, and they're gonna be two little riddles because y'all suck. Oh, I hate, bro. No. Okay, but I feel like I got somebody in the same brain capacity as me. That's true. Two negatives make a positive. That's true. Yeah. Jesus don't, I, I don't like how you point upward like that. Our hands are so cute and small. All right, first one. Oh, that was her. Yeah, they're crazy. She's flirting now. First one, a grandmother, two mothers, and two daughters went to a baseball game together, and they each bought a ticket. How many tickets did they buy in total? Wait, two grandmothers, two grandfathers? A grandmother, two mothers, and two You're daughters. You're going way Slow too down. fast. A grandmother, two mothers, and two daughters. Okay, you Five tickets. Wrong. You have six fingers holding up. Liv, are you nuts? That's five. One, two, three. You're doing three. a weird ass yeah, five. Yeah, that, that's You're why I look like two six. You're doing a two-hand five. I've you never like, seen a two-hand five in my life. I've never seen a two-hand five in my life. Two grandmothers. Two grandmothers. One, one a grandmother. Gra a grandmother, two mothers, two daughters. Five tickets. Five. Wrong. It is five. It's a wrong. Wait, slow down. Grandmother, two. Oh, grandmother, a mother, two daughters, and a niece. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Somebody six. Is. They all had to buy a ticket. Okay. Yeah. How many tickets did they buy? They five. Had to buy parking. Six tickets. <laughs> five tickets. Grandmother, two mothers. Daughter, four. They had to buy a ticket for the parking. They four, to, four, 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 four. It ain't nothing about no damn parking. Yeah, Yo, you got to park. <laughs> it didn't tell us how much the tickets were, so that's and annoying. He said, "Oh, they had to pay. wait. What? what? Why does the price matter? Because they didn't say how much the tickets were. Because one she of them said, said, "Hell no, I'm going back to the car. This shit too expensive." <laughs> Liv just making up stories. You are doing the most. <laughs> okay. You want me to okay. Take yeah, no, 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 no. Help. Give a hint. Slow down. A grandmother. Okay. Two mothers. That's three people. And two daughters. Two mothers. That's where you're getting me. Two mothers. Two mothers and two daughters went to a game. <gasps> are they divorced? Three. <laughs> Wait, what? Because a mother, two daughters, that's... Oh, because the grandma's a mom, too. She has to be. Yes. But that's not fair. You I don't know the family tree. How am I supposed you to know that? You didn't get that mother? information. Yeah. You don't have to know the lineage. Dude, if I someone am. Someone is a grandmother. Uh, that means they're a mother. I'm proud no? of myself. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Your so mom has a mom. Your mom has a mom. Ooh. Then her mom has a mom. Grandmother. Two mothers. The grandma. And the, now the mother. And two daughters. I hate you speaking. The daughter of the mother and the daughter of the grandmother. Any of y'all suck. Okay, next one. Here we go. Next riddle. That's unbelievable. She asked for the ticket price and you said parking. Next one. Right. Eggs are 12 cents a dozen. Now, here we go with some math shit. Eggs are 12 cents a dozen. Can't do How many eggs can you get for a dollar? Wait, hold on. Just no one, no one say a damn 12, thing. 12 cents. No, 12 okay. Cents. A carton is 12 cents. Yep. It, a dozen is 12. Mm -hmm. How much do you get for a dollar? How many 12s go into a dollar? 12 divided by a dollar. How much is a dollar in cents? 100 cents? <laughs> No, 25. Does 25 anybody's cents. ears itch? So wait, a dollar? Yes. Divided by 12 dollars. 
No, divided by 12 cents. I mean, that was just a misspeaking. 12 cents. 12 cents. Divided by a dollar. 8.33. Wrong. Okay, say say the question. Say, say it again. Yeah. But in layman's get, terms. Now you're confused. Eggs, we're on the same team. Yeah, we're on eggs, the same team. Eggs are 12 cents a dozen. Okay. Wait, but when you say that, each egg is 12 cents? A dozen is 12. Eggs are 12 cents. So when you a get dozen. a carton, you check it out, it's 12 cents. 12 cents. Okay. Market is great on eggs, wherever this <laughs> How is. How many eggs can you get for a dollar? That's some cheap ass eggs. Wait. Now, how many cards? <laughs> what? <laughs> not how many, not how many cards, how many eggs? 12, 24, 36. Okay, we're counting by 12s. 42. I can't do that in my head. 42. <laughs> No, that's never. That's a great, a great guess. Thirty-six, forty-two, forty-eight. Oh, twelve. But twelve doesn't go into an even dollar. That is true. It's odd. Okay, so how many eggs can you get? Am I Bill Nye, bro? I don't know. <laughs> that's making my stomach hurt. Twelve times. <laughs> Wait. So I gotta. Add, this is where I have the problem. Twelve. We might have to get that whiteboard. We might have. So twelve. Get the whiteboard for me. All right, so this is what I got the whiteboard now. Thanks. Jesus so, Christ. so we got. So right. look. Okay. That's a twelve. That's a sick two. Six. Twelve six. cents. Yep. Equals. One dollar. Twelve. One. Carton. Tw twelve eggs. It equals twelve eggs. Yes. Ooh. So look. Now I'm lost. Read, read it one more time. 12? I'm gonna walk you through it. Okay. You you got the board. And then you got the yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Twelve cents equals. Eggs are 12 cents a dozen. 12, 12 is... Wait. One dollar. Yeah. That's what we're finding out. How many eggs? Oh, 100 eggs. Yeah! yeah! I did it with my brain. I did it with my brain. Yes! Because I, all I did was, look, 12 and 12. One... They equal each other. They equal each they other. Each other. Hell Every time. Yeah. Ain't Every nobody can't tell us shit. We smart. Every time. We might take a while to get there, but we get it. I was expecting like a. There you go. I told you I was good at English. Go to school, kids. There's no way. That's where the cap is. Y'all's explanation for that was they equal each other. Yeah. <laughs> they do. It they equal each other out. Yeah. Hey, it doesn't matter how you get to the end of the river, but as long as you don't drown. Mm. I, I had a floaty on my back. All right, Forrest Gump. <laughs> it's, that, it's that damn whiteboard. It's that whiteboard. And it helps when I close my eyes to think. I, I, I don't know why. Every time we're recording and I have, an I have to pee, I always have an intrusive thought to just piss right here like a Labrador Please retriever. do not do that. Because I, I do that. will never work here again. <laughs> <laughs> but I think... Go ahead and open up that Discord cam. Because I think it's time to help some relationships. And... We got Ooh, another secretary here. Yes. We got secretary Mama Liv. Mama Liv. Now it's time for Cam. Hit it. Music's a little quieter. Doctor P. Doctor P. Doctor P. All right. Excuse the voice, Saya. Excuse the secretary. I'm the sick secretary. We're gonna get right into it. Again, randomly chosen. Here we go. Dear Dr. P. Yeah, hello. My ex-boyfriend and I broke up about seven months ago. Jesus. We were together for three years prior to the breakup. <sighs> we simply had unreconcilable differences and there was no bad blood. Now, ever since I stopped by his house to drop off his mother's birthday gift, I've been reminded of the good old days. <laughs> Why are we talking about gifts? <clears throat> However, it seems he got himself a new lady. <sighs> Her breath smelled like 10 cans of bounce that ass. <laughs> But then again, I might be a hater. My question is, should I try to shoot my shot one more time or just drop it like a bad habit? Not okay. gonna lie, he has me in a chokehold. Hopefully not literally. Not a physical, <laughs> not a half nose. All right, um, this is what I gotta say. The hips are working. The hips are working. That means Dr. P's brain's flowing. Let's break this down into different parts, right? Okay. First part, why the hell are you giving his mother a gift? Yeah, after a breakup. After seven months after a breakup. Now, I know you've been, you know, close with the family for yeah. three years, whatever. You got to separate yourself. Yeah, I was about to say, she wants to linger around. You, you're wanting to linger around. You're done. Mm -hmm. You're done. You're done. Hey, you're done. What is, he, what is she? Done. done. You're done, right? Look, he's done because he's, he's got him a new piece of... You know what I mean? He's got him a new little. He's got him a new little spring candy. He's got him new a little honey, 
honey lemon drop. Oh, honey lozenge. <laughs> oh, honey lozenge she sucks on. Not like that. <laughs> I meant like the candy. Oh, my God. But, okay, look. This is what I got to say. First of all, Dr. P, you know if you put a submission in, you will be held accountable. It's true. And I'm holding you accountable right now. Stop going to the house. It's not appropriate anymore. Not a good look. Even if the mom prefers you over the new girl, stop. It's not a good look. <laughs> right? You can stop. love that mom. You can love her. You can love somebody from a distance. Mm -hmm. That's like Cam. I love him from a distance. <laughs> I don't like being around him too much. <laughs> but this, so this is the thing. And the new girl has 10 cans of bounce that ass to you. He likes that. Maybe he likes bounce He ass grabs ass. that chin and snaps that bounce that ass. He's like, I like, bring me three cans of bounce That's that ass. That's disgusting. You know what I mean? My <laughs> but honestly, can I chime in? Yeah, chime in. Honestly, that should be like a a compliment to you because he may be downgraded. He might have downgraded, and that's where you can tell yourself to feel better. Yeah. She might be a Victoria's Supermodel, but she has gingivitis. That's true. She got gingivitis breath. I got gingivitis. It's all good. I don't know if I do. I might. You don't. You don't. Oh, we'd be able to tell you the too. other day when we were in TJ Maxx. This is not Dr. P talking. This is Peyton talking. Mm -hmm. My mouth started bleeding in the store and that fan came up. <laughs> so I smiled and I saw it like that. So I went like this. Oh, yep. Bro, you got to stop. Because it tastes like coins. What's my mouth start saying? Like pennies? You know there's blood. Like pesos? I oh, can't. Stop, stop. You're my but uh, first of all, stop going to the house. Yep. S detach yourself from that family. You are you have a full life to live outside of them. You can still love them from a distance. Let them live their life. If, if it's meant to be, you'll come back together. That's all I have to say. And that was... <laughs> Doctor P, Doctor P, Doctor P, Doctor P, Doctor P. You got the outro. Okay, that that was the usual podcast episode eighty nine, guys. Sorry, it was a little different. We're working through a sickness. A lot of other podcasts would have been like, "F the fans, we're not uploading." Cam is a soldier, but we don't do that here. Yeah, shout out to Mama Lit for showing up and screaming. Um, guys, we love you so much. LA, we will see you in a couple days. The after party link at the if you have a live show ticket, it's completely free for you. If not, go ahead and buy your ticket right now. We love you. The next two cities will be announced soon. Ooh. Cam's voice will be good for LA, so don't it worry. Will, it will it be will. fine. Get He's going to the doctor honey, tomorrow. Bunny. We're gonna get him some honey. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh um, again. Can I do a secret code? Do yes. it. Yeah, you need to. Secret code for is karma and to confuse the casuals. To good karma and confuse the casuals. I'm so nervous. It's se I'm tingling. Secret code is S Y H. Suck your honey. <laughs> no, but I like that better. <laughs> so <laughs> suck your honey. Remember, your guys. Honey. One out of ten koala bears don't make yeah, it home do to it. Christmas. Oh, I, oh, oh, oh. And we'll see you <laughs> next time this episode.